hello guys how are you i hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health today i have selected a topic on varicose seal what so let us discuss what is varicose seal varicose seal is an enlargement of the veins within the loose bag of a skin that holds the testicles scrotum these veins transport oxygen depleted blood from the testicles a varicose seal occurs when the blood pools in the veins rather than circulating efficiently out of the scrotum so varicose seals usually form usually during puberty and develop over time and it may be caused by some infection such as lymphatic filariasis and uh, they may cause some discomfort or pain but they often result in no symptoms or complications a varicose seal may cause poor development of a testicle low sperm production or other problems azoospermia that may lead to infertility and surgery to treat a varicose seal may be recommended to address these complications what are the symptoms a varicose seal usually occurs on the left side of the scrotum and often produces no other signs or symptoms possible signs and symptoms may include pain a dull aching pain or discomfort is more likely when standing or late in the day lying down often relieves pain a mass in the scrotum if a varicose seal is large enough a mass like a bag of worms may be visible above the testicle a small a smaller varicose seal may be too small to see but noticeable by touch differently sized testicles the affected testicles may be noticeably smaller than the other testicles infertility also a varicose seal may lead to difficulty fathering a child but not all varicose seals cause infertility when to see a doctor annual wellness visits for boys are important for monitoring the development and health of testicles it is important to schedule and keep these appointments the number of conditions could contribute to pain swelling or mass in the scrotum if you experience any of these see your health care provider to get a timely and accurate diagnosis so what are the causes the testicles receive oxygen rich blood from two testicular arteries one artery for each side of the scrotum similarly there are also two testicular veins that transport oxygen depleted blood back towards the heart with each side of the scrotum a network of small veins pemini form plexus transport the oxygen depleted blood from the testicle to the main testicular vein a varicose seal is the enlargement of the pemini form plexus the exact cause of varicose seal is unknown one contributing factor may be the malfunctioning of the valves inside the veins that are intended to keep blood moving in the right direction also the left testicular vein following a slightly different path than the right vein a path that makes a problem with blood flow more likely on the left when the oxygen depleted blood gets backed up in the network of veins they widen dilate creating the varicose seal what are the risk factors there is uh, do not appear to be a significant risk factors for developing a varicose seal what are the complications having a varicose seal can make it difficult for your body to regulate the temperature of the testicles oxidative stress and the build up of toxins can result these factors may contribute to the following complications such as poor testicular health and infertility for boys going through puberty a varicose seal may inhibit testicle growth hormone production and other factors related to the health and function of the testicle for men a varicose seal may result in gradual shrinkage due to tissue loss and infertility a varicose seal does not necessarily cause infertility an estimated 10 to 20% of men diagnosed with the varicose seal experience difficulty fathering a child among men with fertility problems about 40% have a varicose seal so what is the diagnosis and treatment as you know that your healthcare provider can diagnose a varicose seal by visual inspection of the scrotum and by touch you would uh, you will likely be examined while lying down and standing up while, when you are standing your healthcare provider may ask you to take a deep breath hold it and bear down similar to the pressure during a bowel movement this technique while salva maneuver can make a varicose seal easier to examine 
and then is the imaging test your health care provider may want you to have an ultrasound exam ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves to create images of the structures inside your body these images can be used to confirm the diagnosis or characterize the varicose seal eliminate another condition as possible as cause of sign or symptoms detect a lesion or other factors obstructing the blood flow so what is the treatment? A treatment often does not need to be treated. For a man experiencing infertility surgery to correct the varicose may be a part of fertility treatment plan. For teenagers or young adults, generally those not seeking fertility treatment or healthcare provider may suggest annual checkups to monitor any changes. Surgery might be recommended in the following conditions or situations such as a testicle that shows delayed development or a low sperm count or other sperm irregularities usually only tested in adults, chronic pain not managed by pain medication. Then surgery, the purpose of surgery is to seal off the affected veins to redirect the blood flow into healthy veins and this is possible only because two other arteries and vein systems supply blood circulation to and from the scrotum. Treatment outcomes may include the following, the affected testicle eventually may return to a its expected size in the case of teenagers the testicle may catch up in development sperm count may improve and sperm irregularities may be corrected surgery may improve fertility or improve semen quality for in vitro fertilization and risks for surgery are varicose repair represent relatively few risks which might include buildup of fluid around the testicles, hydrocele and recurrence of varicoceles and infections, damage to an artery, chronic testicular pain and collection of blood around the testicle which is hematoma. The balance between the benefits and risk of surgery shifts if the treatment is only for pain management while varicoceles may cause pain, most do not. A person with a varicose may have testicular pain, but the pain may be caused by something else, an unknown or not yet identified cause. When varicose surgery is done primarily to treat pain, there is a risk that the pain may worsen or the nature of the pain may change. What are the surgical procedures? Your surgeon can stop the flow of blood through the testicular vein by stitching or clipping the vein shut ligation two approaches are commonly used today both require general anesthesia and are outpatient procedures that you usually allow you to go home the same day the procedures include microscopic varicoselectomy the surgeon makes a tiny incision low in the groin using a powerful microscope the surgeon identifies and ligates several small veins the procedure usually lasts two to three hours. Laparoscopic varicoselectomy. The surgeon performs this procedure using a video camera and surgical tools attached to the tubes that pass through a few very small incisions in the lower abdomen and because the network of the veins are less complex above the groin, there are fewer veins to ligate. The procedure usually lasts 30 to 40 minutes. What is the recovery pain from this surgery generally is mild but, my, but might continue for several days or weeks. Your doctor might prescribe pain medication for a limited period after surgery. After that your doctor might advise you to take non-prescription uh, non pain medicines such as acetamine or phenyltylenol or, uh, or paracetamol or ibuprofen. Advil uh, brufin to relieve the discomfort. You will likely be able to return to work about a week after a surgery and resume exercise about two weeks after surgery. Ask a surgeon about when you can safely return to daily activities or when you can have sex. Alternative surgery is embolization. In this procedure, a vein is blocked by essentially creating a tiny dam. A doctor specializing in imaging radiologist inserts a tiny tube into a vein into your groin or neck a local anesthetic is used at the insurgent site and you may be given a sedative to reduce discomfort and help you relax using imaging on a monitor the tube is guided to the treatment site in the groin the radiologist releases coils or a solution that causes scarring to create a blockage in the testicular veins the procedure lasts about an hour recovery time is short with only mild pain 
you will likely be able to return to work in one to two days and resume exercise after about a week ask your radiologist when you will resume all activities lifestyle and home remedies if you have a varicose veil that causes minor discomfort but does not affect your fertility you might try the following for pain relief take non prescription pain medicines such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen support the scrotum by wearing an athletic supporter or a snug briefs and uh, preparing for your appointment a varicose veil that does not cause pain or discomfort which is common may be diagnosed during a routine wellness exam it may also be diagnosed during a more complex diagnostic process for fertility treatment if you are experiencing pain or discomfort in your scrotum or groin you should be prepared to answer the following questions how would you describe the pain where are you experiencing it when did it begin does anything relieve the pain is it constant or does it come and go away Have you had any injury to your groin or genitals? What medications, dietary supplements, vitamins, or herbal remedies do you take? So, your doctor will decide about the surgical procedure needed in your case. So, this was all about varicocele, and I hope so that this topic would be more informative for you, and you would have. like my video and i would like to end my discussion with the following quotes of winston churchill one of his uh, quote is success is a stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm another one is if we open a quarrel between past and present we shall find that we have lost the future and the third one is the uh, success is not final failure is not fatal it is the courage to continue that counts and uh, another one is do not wish health and wealth but wish good luck because on the titanic everyone was rich and healthy and only a few were lucky another famous quote is the greatest lesson in life is to know that even fools are right sometimes and his another famous quote is a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty and the last one is the courage is what it takes to stand up and speak courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen so thank you for listening the quotes of winston churchill as well and i hope so that you would have liked them and kindly share this video with other individuals as well and Uh, if you have liked this video then don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for listening this video have a wonderful nice day thank you very much